Interesting. Don't overthink it. Oosh. Look at the analysis on that. Okay, so it's not happy with the bishop being pushed back. Have I moved too fast there? Hold on. Let's go there, go there. Yeah, I don't think it likes that bishop move attacking the queen. I mean, I'm not a big fan of it really because it's not x raying through anything, but it does entice the move of the queen coming here because it's looking for the quick and dirty tactics. You're not getting this pawn out of the way looking for potentially some sort of attacks down on, on the king side. So all the while, I'm just thinking, well, I know potentially what you're looking for, so you're going to kind of overthink the pressure that you potentially can put on my king side area. So it gives them things to think about whilst they're trying to, you know, they're going for the win, they're going for that check, you know, that checkmate position, and they're not going to think about anything else. So bring the bishop through here, so we grab that, so that's pretty straightforward. So the opponent obviously didn't utilise that type of concept. I'm not saying that that would have worked or anything, but yeah. Because it's not getting anything at the moment, but ideally that's why the queen was put there to try and instigate some sort of pressure on this side, but it wasn't panning out at that stage, so we grabbed, grabbed, and we went to attack the bishop. It's a bit of a drop there from 2 to minus, you know, 0 0.9. Let's pop 
the bet taken here, wasn't it? Yeah. That's because I'm so motor set to do this move. In this position here, I'm always motor set to actually bring the knight here, go for the discover check on the bishop. When in reality, I think this is quite key actually. This is quite key. Um, yes, I get more to set on certain moves um, as kind of set play type things, you know, based on the opponent's movements. But this picture is different. The picture on this board is different. So this is why genuinely you have to play the board, not what your predictions uh, are telling you. Yeah, in this position, yeah, I freely just go here. But I do have a pawn here that I can take and pressure their queen at the same time. Smallest of details, even though it is a bullet match, it's still we do have that time to still try and find some appropriate positions. So relying relying on um, robotic processed movements doesn't always help you, and it's not really part of the answer. So yeah, but these exercises are really quite good. Looking back on these games, so we bring that down and capture. Okay, so we're still on the pawn, but now it gives the opponent the chance to protect the pawn. So we charge through attacking the pawn now. Pawn can't take because there's an extra way through to the king. So we grab. We're not looking to save the pawn now. We're looking to try and get a better position on the board. Computer doesn't like our better position attempt. So we grab, grab. Knight's protecting, but we can still take off. We're now owning this file and based on the calculations that we've made we would be owning this file potentially be able to come across here at some stage maybe come here maybe come around the back and try and challenge the king if need be as i said my rooks will just go flying up the board if they've got that opportunity of an open file and get on that back rank so we're attempting to do that here and they do capture so it's equalized in a sense but we're we're winning at this moment in time so how then do we keep that win don't want to keep my rook up there anymore um, it's probably saying yes I should and just start pushing some pawns maybe or something c5 yeah all that sort of stuff but um, in my basic head I'm just thinking okay don't want to get my rook exchanged just yet because it does have linked pawns here, we have a cluster of pawns here and I, for that brief moment I thought let's support them he's going to have to work very hard to get his king and his rook fighting off my pawn majority on this side so I thought bring, oops it is he it's gone too far so I thought bring that rook back down to try and help out my king and my pawns so bring the king up now blocking the rook's access to the back and then at this point now because his king is going to be further back once we take his rook that's more ideal position for us so we grab grab so now we can make inroads up towards and start using the pawn majority as an advantage So looking for those little tempy wins then we can grab and then the pawns playing sailing to go and get a queen 